So, this is a um, podcast that I uh, well, thought we would start. It is. Yeah, um, always wanted to have a podcast and trying to talk about some things. So, that's what I decided I'd start. I'm here. My name's Ed. Danny, you wanna introduce yeah, yourself? I'm, uh, I'm Danny, also known as Winter Droid. On here on YouTube. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this I always I used to watch the Yog Pod a lot. No, well, not watch, listen to it. So I thought I could do something similar to that. Um, except um, not that creative. Um. Certainly so, not. Yeah. Um. So I I don't know I I don't like the idea of having like faces when I do a podcast so I'm just gonna sit and talk recording this on Teamspeak um, so why don't we get right into our topics I guess uh, games what have we been playing recently uh, Game Dev Tycoon Yeah I've been playing a lot of that as well um, What well, I have a lot of other games so why don't you why don't you uh, explain this. What, explain Game Dev Tycoon? Yeah, why why it's kind of fun and your uh, history with it. Um, well, I like it because I can just, it's it's really like a really casual game. I kind of just sit down and play it, and like, yeah, like, you can play it for like, play it for 10 minutes, or you could play it for 10 hours. In all honesty, probably isn't very good, but... I mean, yeah. I'm not complaining because it's a lot of fun taking a company and starting video games and then screwing up because they're awful at making games like one yeah. I know. Yeah, like uh, Danny. Danny makes some pretty crappy games. I had I had <laughs> one game where I was doing really good and then I accidentally made a new game instead of instead of hitting save. I hit new game. Um, and what he made a game. He uh, thought it would be a brilliant idea to make a music strategy game. That was which, a solid idea. <laughs> which sounds like literally the worst idea. I couldn't imagine even what a music strategy game would be like. Riffs of Glory shall live <laughs> on forever. And then, <laughs> eventually, the game told him that new, uh, new interesting... Well, if you don't know what it is, it's a game where you make, like a game development company and you make new games and stuff. So at one point the game told him that new um unique new ideas were becoming popular. So he's like, "Okay, it it's time to bring back um Rifts of Glory." <laughs> and it got ones across the board. It was like this game gives me nightmares and stuff like that. Yeah, it was it was a great great game. Yeah. I'm just uh, jealous you didn't come up with it before me. So yeah, um overall good game. Recommend you uh pick it up. I got it when it was on sale. I played a lot on of Steam. It. I forgot to buy Super Meat Boy when it was on sale. Oh, yeah, I I've never played that so I can't uh, comment on that. So angry at myself. Have I, you played it before? Or? No, but I've seen I've seen videos of it and it just looks like so much fun. Yeah, wacky uh, and like ooh. outrageously difficult. Call of War as Gunslingers is on sale. I'm thinking about getting that. I don't know though. Heard of it. So yeah, um, what else have I been? I've been playing. I I was at Staples. Uh, I don't know if you guys have that around where you guys live, but here on the um northeast New England region of the United States, we have a chain. Watch Staples be like worldwide, and I sound like a complete. It probably is. Ass hat Staples. Let me see if it is. Well, anyway, Staples is a store. Um, and I bought. Uh, they had a, a like a clearance bin of video games, so they had their Amnesia: The Dark Descent and Battle Stations Midway. So I've heard of both of those, so I decided to get them. And they're like these weird off-published versions of the game that install a bunch of like bloatware on your computer when you install <laughs> the game. So after installing both of them, I had to go out and like uninstall like a bunch of bloatware that they installed. But anyway, after like updating Amnesia and stuff, that game is a game I've could really I got into a bit. It's it's really quite frightening. I haven't played it till now. Um, but, but it's a really solid game. It's quite immerse, uh, immersive. 
Quite immersion. Um, so if you if you like getting like immersed in a gaming experience, like if you, you know, what's a game you get immersed in like Skyrim or Bioshock Infinite Fallout Ed. or um, Bioshock Infinite or Half Life, something like anything you get immersed into. Um, you would really um, like that game. Except it scares me. It scares me quite terribly. Um, I can only play about 25 minutes straight of that game without going insane. Um, so that, that, that's a bit cool. Um, my Staples Inc., I wanna... I've also been playing, um, Paper Mario Sticker Star on my 3DS again. Uh, um, your mic cut out. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been playing, um, Paper Mario Sticker Star on the 3DS. Yeah, what's that about? Um, well, so there's this, like, sticker comet that falls, and, um, so Bowser, like, takes, con takes its powers or whatever, and then he steals Princess Peach. Let's be honest, what el what else did you expect? And, um, so yeah. It's like Paper Mario. Except instead of fighting with, like, um... Like, attacks or, like, partners, you use, um... These stickers that are, like, one-time use items. Yeah. Fun. Well, the other thing I've been playing a lot of is... Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. That is a really, really good game. Um, how do I describe it? It's uh, it's it's an RPG. It's a very good RPG, and you're a vampire. Um, and without giving too much away, it's very good. It's very, very good. Um, I don't know what kind of appeal. I don't know how to describe the appeal of it, but it's just. It's in an interesting setting, and it's just, it's really fun to play. It's a bit dated, but, um, you can get, like, just sweet effects or something and make the game look really nice, so. You have sweet or effects e on it? What? You have sweet effects on it? Yes, and you can get ENB mod, um, for it, and it looks really good with that, um, except it, it looks a bit blurry. Um, I don't quite like the way it looks, and it has terrible performance. Um, and I, I have a very powerful system, and for whatever reason, um, the ENB with that game tanks it, even though it's, like, t probably close to 10 years old at this point. But, yeah, uh, very good game. Recommend you pick it up. So, uh, oh, ass. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't really like games I generally like. I just, um, I just never, whenever I start, like... A game on PC, I never finish it. Yeah, I, I have a lot of games on Steam that I never finish. Like, what what's my Steam library? 91 games. Let's go down the games that I've beat. Um, Ace of Spades, never played it. Angry Birds Space, Not good. got gifted that. Arma 2, wouldn't want to beat it. Battle Stations Midway, haven't played yet. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, I beat. Borderlands 2, mm, played like maybe an hour of it. Black Ops 2, beat the campaign. Modern Warfare 3, I'm not going to comment. It's absolutely garbage. <laughs> that is and a then comment. going down from there, Deus Ex Speaking 1, of uh, comments. Uh, we'll we'll like get way. to that in a bit. But yeah, there's, there's probably 15, like Deus Ex 1, Deus Ex Human Revolution. I've beaten them. All f Fallout and Elder Scrolls games. But like... Past a very select few games, I haven't beaten, maybe like, yeah, I've beaten Max Payne 3. There's not, I would say less than a third of the games that I, um, that I, like, have, I've actually beaten. And I would say probably only about half I've even gone to halfway through, so. I don't, I don't think in my entire 15 years of life have I ever game on a home console or, like, a PC. Ever. I don't know why, I just don't. You've never beat a game on a home console? I don't think, I don't, not that I know of. That's quite unusual. I, yeah, I just, I just don't, I can't get into them for some reason. Yeah. 
at like every 3DS game I own I've beaten. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I I maybe if I got a lot of time like over this I always say over the summer I'm going to beat a lot of games, but then I never do. Uh I guess I just maybe what I when I always beat games is over the Christmas like stretch break. So who knows, maybe I'll beat a few games. I'm probably going to the games I'm going to beat you know, Alpha Protocol, I really want to play that. Uh Dragon Age Origins, I was playing a lot of that last night. That was really fun. What is that? I... Um, Dragon Age Origins is... It's an RPG. Very good. Um, it's an interesting story. I really want to... That's probably actually going to be the first game I beat. Or maybe Vampire the Masquerades. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going on a uh, ramble right here. This isn't very interesting to listen to. Uh, the Witcher... That I was having fun with that, but now I'm in some ridiculous part where I need to light a bunch of torches or something, and not having too much fun with that anymore. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get into that. I also have The Witcher 2. Again, don't know if I'll ever get into that. Um, do you think it's time to move into our next topic? Speaking of comments... Yeah, speaking of comments, YouTube, um... Done, just introduced, yeah, they just introduced their new comments system, um, <sighs> and bringing up the video, leave a comment on this video, I dare you, yeah, haha, ha. um, let's see if, let me see if I can bring up the video, but it's funny, the video where they introduced the new comment system, has like, yeah, I can actually bring it up. It has 1,658 likes and 23,845 dislikes. Um, yeah, for having terrible ideas. Hey, one of my, my comment that I actually commented on this video has four thumbs up. It's, here, Daniel, let me see if you see my comment on this. Um... That's right, weird. I, Maybe I is my won't. is my comment on the top comments because how did it get? Probably because it shows yours first. Because yeah, but at priority. least someone found it. Let me see if you see the channel of champions. I don't see it. Yeah, no. Uh scroll nope, down a bit. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, so this this is just getting completely tanked. If you don't know what they did, they like integrated oh my Google God. Plus with the YouTube comments. Um, I Hold on, what? sorry. Sorry to interrupt you, but um you know they they changed it so that your um comments can be as long as you want. Yeah. And you can add links in comments. And so since people, since comments can be as long as you want, one of the top comments on the video is the entire first chapter of the first Harry Potter book. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. I present to you Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Slash Philosopher's Stone. Chapter 1, The Boy Who Lived. Third Mrs. Dursley of number 4, Privet Drive, and it just says the entire thing. It's outrageous. Wow. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, there's a bunch of petitions to bring back um, the old system. So basically what they did anyway is um, they made it so you had to have the Google Plus is basically integrated with the YouTube comments now. So um, it's all like linked into one. And what they did is they automatically sort comments from people with famous YouTube channels ahead of people who don't. So basically, I saw someone who made a parody of the Martin Luther King I Have a Dream speech talking about having all comments created <coughs> equal. And that, re that really cracked me up because it's so true. Why do they think that? See, that the whole point of the YouTube comes, and what makes YouTube as a whole good is that everyone can have a voice. And so just by having it um, so that only people who are big, it basically stifles um, 
maybe like less heard ideas or um, yeah people from less like smaller channels from being heard so I don't I don't think I like this um, at yeah. all and apparently if you're a YouTube channel like your content creator it's even worse like I was watching gopher vids I know you don't watch him but I really like him yeah um, he made a video about it, and he said that it's terrible because there's no one place to see all the comments anymore, and that the one place that there is is it's just filled with other spam like so and so plus one this so and so uh, shared this so and yeah. so favorited this, um, and so overall it's just a complete abject failure, um, apparently overall. Yeah, and with what you said about um people being uh. Like, famous people getting pushed to the top. This is completely unrelated to the new YouTube. But I saw a video, uh, the Game Theory video about, uh, I and how he became, like, the number one yeah. uh, YouTuber in the, uh, like, in the whole world. Yeah. And it's, it said it's because what YouTube does is they promote this channel because it has a lot of fans and a lot of people watch it. And then... In doing that, get more views, pushing yeah, it a, to the front vicious, page again. It's so a it's an endless cycle. loop. Yeah, it's an endless of, loop, basically. Of no one getting anything except for PewDiePie. Yeah, which, uh, to be honest, I don't really. Let's play content where you're not really like, per se, role playing or anything, or you're, new, or you're just like, talking over someone else's work. I feel is lazy content, to be honest. Not just singling him out. There's other people who do this. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of PewDiePie. Yeah, um... And, to Childish. be honest, his videos, I feel like, play to the lowest common, like... Yeah. Any, anyone can watch them. Anyone well, can watch them. No, but I mean, they're, they're for people... I, I just feel like they're for people who are either really young and stupid or for don't people know who are any just better. really stupid and people i i don't understand his appeal maybe it's just me but screaming and yelling isn't funny yeah um but yeah that uh kind of got off a bit of a tangent but there we go i saw a um picture that showed up on my uh my twitter feed and it was a picture of um, the co-founder of YouTube, and the first, the person that posted the first ever video on YouTube. Yeah. Actually, recently, um, here, uh, here's the link to the channel. Actually, quite funny. It's. Uh, he posted the first video eight years ago, and then mo his most recent, ac that's his last activity, and then his most recent activity, <clears throat> the comment saying, why the fuck do I need a Google Plus account to comment on a video? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the <laughs> first video ever on YouTube, and now he's all like, this sucks so much. Yeah. Yeah, so, also, I just think any integration of YouTube with outside sites has always just constantly made YouTube worse than it already was. Like, I, I'm I'm not one of those people. Like, I remember when they added the one channel layout. I thought that was... I was one of the few people who thought that wasn't that bad. Um, but th there's some other stuff that they've done that I really am not a fan of. Like, I think... Like, when they first added this, uh, the new subscription thing a while ago, this is really late to the game, but I really didn't like that. And then this new thing with the comments, they really, they really done fucked it up. This is, this is atrocious. All of um, the Google Plus integration needed. It, yeah, all the Google, I, see, but the Because no one were, uses Google Plus, and no one will ever <laughs> use Google Plus. And like, you need to learn that, Google. This, you know, what's insidious about this <coughs> is that the whole reason behind this is that they're trying to get people to use Google+. Plus. Um, what the hell is this noise? Danny, talk. Yeah, I hear it too. It's gone. What the hell is this noise? 
one of my speakers just started buzzing. Um, but on some level, they understand that Google Plus is just completely failing. Um, and that their idea of how to fix this is to force it down people's throats. And that should not be the way. Google Plus should, they need to make Google Plus successful by making people want to use Google Plus, not forcing people to use yeah. Google Plus. Um, which they seem oh. to not understand. And um, yeah, that's just a terrible way to get about it. And I think. Google, I, I mean, I don't think YouTube can fail because of this. YouTube's already too big, but um, it's it, it's just not a good thing for them to introduce at this point because so far it seems that like almost every change that um, they've made recently is just they're not, Google's just looking worse and worse. In my opinion, yeah. every day it seems for the last couple of while. That's that's not really grammatically correct, but whatever. The last couple of while. Yeah. Um, I don't like so. the new um the new way that uh it's like the new Google Chrome. When I open up a new tab, it's like. Ugh. like they well, used I don't to be... use Chrome. That's why you use Firefox because Firefox is better. Ever. there are some people that will like defend Firefox till the end and there are some people like for every um don't you dare say that Firefox people are like they defend it to the end Chrome people defend no I'm saying Chrome I'm saying I'm saying there are people for that that are like that for every single Chrome uh, has internet it the browser people They'll do will that just and then stick to Chrome like so hard yeah just I just I really like Chrome Google's teats and then I just I just know people that use Internet Explorer and that just gets me off, man. I I I don't yeah, I don't like Internet Explorer, but I I don't like Chrome at all. I don't know if it's I don't like the overly simplistic way it's set up and I I like just I don't feel it's customizable enough. Um it's in fact it's barely customizable at all. Um, yeah. so I, I just, it's personal preference and I don't like the way how tightly connected it is to Google. I don't like that one bit. Um, if anything, I would use Chromium, the open source project based on Chrome. So whatever, that's just my thoughts. That? That's my two cents. Chromium is the open source like project that like kind of powers Chrome in a way. Kind of like what AOSP is for Android. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so what else were we going to talk about? What else is on your list? What else is on my list? Um, it was just talking about YouTube fuck-ups recently. Um, those... And why I haven't made any YouTube videos, or, um, I don't know. I just, I just haven't had anything. Oh, and something else to talk about is, um, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts just came out. Um, um if you want to talk about that. Me? Yeah. yeah. I don't have it. I don't, I don't have yeah, it. I don't apparently know. Apparently it's a really terrible, um, PC port of the game. So. Whatever, I don't like games that do that. Um, so anything anything else? I feel like it's uh, just about time to wrap up this podcast. The one thing I will say that I do like about um, the new YouTube is that I was kind of angry when they got rid of your inbox. But now that they have that little bell, that notification bell oh, right I next... Oh, I hate that bell. That bell is I, annoying. I really like that. So when someone comments or, like, does anything to any of the videos, I can just click no, it and see. No, but it's annoying because it's not as good as the inbox where it just where you can see just comments. Because this groups them all together and it makes it much harder for bigger channels. Um, if you would yeah. like an excla- explanation of this, I'll, I'll uh, link you gophervids. Um, video Danny. What? 
Here's a gopher vids video to explain just why that bell is garbage. But anyway, um, I think it's just about time to end this video. So, um, yeah, this is probably going to be something I do every so often now. Um, oh, this so, video's... Yeah, if you um, like this video, like it. If you dislike this video, dislike it. And, um... I don't care. If you're, if you're able to comment, um, <laughs> if, if it's not completely broken, then, uh, do so. Um, and youtube.com slash winning just yeah. saying. Just saying. Yeah, um, I'm Ed, uh, signing out. See you guys. Yeah.